Here's a little story. So when I was a young lad, I took this beautiful young lady to Lover's Lane. And during our romantic interlude, we looked up at the sky, as lovers do, and we saw the moon in its full brightness up in the sky. And I said to her, I said, oh, I said, let me ask you a question. If you had a, 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 to pick whether you prefer the moon or whether you prefer the stars, which would you prefer? And she said, well, I would prefer the moon. And I said, really? I said, because, you know, the problem with the moon is that it does disappear from the horizon. She said, yes, but it's so magical. I said, but don't you think that stars are more magical? She said, well, they are, but, you know, there's so many of them. I said, but are there? Because really, they are quite unique stars, very unique. And she said, well, that's true, but I still prefer the moon. I said, well, look, I'll tell you what, hold on to this little piece of paper. Keep it right there. And let's have a look at this napkin. And let's see what shape we've cut out of it. Let's have a look. Let's have a look together. And so she says, why, well, what have you been doing there? And I said, well, I've been creating a moon for you. See, look at this napkin. Here's a moon. Actually, I'm the man in the moon, on the other side of the moon. Ha, <laughs> no, not really, that's a joke. But you know, the problem with the moon is that it does disappear. And it goes down from the horizon. And as you can see, this moon, the problem with the moon is that it does disappear. But what do we have left here? Well, we have the cutout that I've just cut out. And if you take the moon away from the sky, what do you have left? You have a star. And there's a perfect star cut from a napkin, which you saw was just a circle. And that is magic.